from my standpoint, Albania wants to be part of Europe. It uh, um, and it's made tremendous strides. I think it's in the interest of the country, the region, and Europe as a whole. Certainly, in the American interest for the Albanian people to uh, realize their full potential. As I said, um, no country, no people have come farther, uh, traveled a more difficult path uh, than the Albanians have these last 20 years. Um, they've shown that they have the wherewithal, the, the tenacity, frankly, the, uh, the educational levels and the skills needed. Um, but in order for them to realize their full potential, um, they need to start doing some hard work at home, um, and that is in addressing the political stalemate, um, recognizing that that uh, accession to the EU is, you know, it needs to be an important national goal, and I think it's incumbent upon the United States, but also the uh, the uh, European Union uh, membership, both the the institution in Brussels, but the individual member states, to do everything it can to encourage this integration. Although there has been some progress, frankly the political stalemate has prevented Albania from obtaining what we call uh, candidate status uh, for EU membership. Um, again, um, it will benefit the country tremendously uh, once it uh, um, yeah, rolls up its sleeves and, and gets down to business that, because the negotiations uh, on EU accession are, are very complicated. Uh, they involve a lot of technical matters, um, but the rewards are great. And so this is something that the United States supports fully. The, the biggest impediment um, to Albania's evolution, um, and, and in some ways you could say that it's sort of the, the flip side of the political stalemate, is the difficulty in implementing sound rule of law. Um, there is a, a culture of impunity um, in Albania. Um, it, it takes on many different faces. Some people talk about corruption. Some t people talk about weak institutions, weakness uh, with the judiciary, for example. Um, these are all basically the same thing. I think the, the best example of, of what we're doing is uh, various programs in the area of, of rule of law. Um, we have uh, a, a pretty robust economic assistance program. Um, the Agency for International Development uh, is, is part of, of our embassy structure. We have specialists from the Department of Justice working with prosecutors, uh, working with the police, trying to professionalize their operations, um, bringing in, in uh, better uh, you know, tried and proven uh, practices, uh, but not just uh, in terms of methodology or, or, or things like that, but also concrete improvements to the administration of courts, having um, simple things like actually recording court proceedings and, and in so doing trying to promote more transparency.